Hello, ladies and gentlemen. And today we're going to do something slightly different. We're trying out a new format, and I'm going to do a few of these because there's a few games that have got some interesting things in it that I wouldn't mind replicating. So in this case, what we're doing is we've got Minecraft, which is a block-building game, and you build in it. That's about it. You fight zombies and other things. But the interesting bit is this building mechanic it's got. So aside from digging holes in the ground, the building part's what we're mainly interested in. The way it works is that you start off with a, you have a cube, your block, and you can build on it. So you can build on the side, you can build on the top. And if you got really adventurous, you can even build up underneath. So the mechanic behind this is incredibly simple. You can also stand on top and you can sort of half stand on the edge and precariously build on the side and go that way. So we want to be able to do this in Unreal Engine and that's what we're going to replicate. So I'll hop out of this. Okay, so we've seen the mechanic behind Minecraft and how the build thing works there, which is incredibly simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it in Blueprints in Unreal Engine and basically replicate it. So we're going to need a cube to put down to start with, like we're going to build with something. So let's create a Blueprint, blueprint class. We're going to call it Buildable Block. We're going to open that up, and we're just going to th throw a cube in there. That's it. That's all we need to do. Um, yeah. So close that. And now we need to go into the first person character. This is a sort of like a default type of project that I'd use a lot. And I've already got the mouse invert bit there, and I've got a stock standard line trace that I like to use. It just saves me time building more. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back to the viewport view here. I'm just going to throw this cube into the into the whole thing here. Just delete one and that one we're just going to raise it up a bit just so it sits on the ground normally like a normal cube does and then what we're going to do now into the first person character blueprint there's a few things we need to do we need a, some sort of cursor which can be the cube as well So we're going to go up to the begin play because we want to spawn it at runtime and we want it spawned in when we when we need it. So I'm going to go here, spawn actor from class. We're just going to call, we're just going to, where is it? Buildable cube, buildable block, here it is. And just to keep Unreal Engine happy, we're just going to give this a location 500 above zip, above the zero point. We need to get a reference for it, so we're going to use that. Call it cursor block. And then we need to add it to the actors to ignore the array that is usually gets done with every line trace. Because there's always some that you want to ignore. So we want, this is the one we want. So we're going to get that. And we're just going to add to it. Otherwise we're going to have the, sh the cube shooting towards us the whole time. So that's that part done there. 
So what we need to do now is we need to set this part up. And we only want to do it if we actually hit something. Hit, a hit an actual valuable hit, like an actual valid hit. And there's going to be a couple of things we're going to do. And we're going to... First thing we need to do is we need to... Well, let's have a node that... transforms the cursor queue block we want to move we also want to be able to rotate it as well so let's just start with that now to get the side to get whatever side of the object that we're going to be hitting we need this this is the out hit normal that split like that out hit normal which is here and what this will do is this will give us certain values that will determine what side we're on and it does this by the detect the direction of the, of the normals which is really just which way the faces that we're that the line traces here are hitting are facing so I'll just show really quick. So this is a cube. So we're at the y, negative side of the y-axis. On this side, we're on the negative side of the x-axis. And then positive side of the y-axis and the positive side of the x-axis. So it just comes down to you know, what direction these are facing. And it's the same with these two. Positive Y, negative Y, it's, you get the idea. What this will do is this will give us an indication as to where the preview cube has got to go. So, yeah. So let's go back to the let's see thing. So based on that, we know it's... We now know which side it's got to go. Now we need to know where it's got to go. So we need to know where the actor is that we're hitting. It's lo the center location of that. So what we do, if we come off the out hit actor, we're going to do get actor location. So we can just send that straight to that not really we need to add something to it we need to add something to it to drag it further than the site because it'll just take up the same amount it'll just take up the same space in fact i can actually show you it'll take up the same space so we can't just transfer it we can't just do that now we also need versa get and we're just gonna shove that in there just to show let's just rotate the z just to illustrate the point so we're there and that's what it does it just sets the same location as what we're hitting it in fact it should do this for everything well just about everything So we need to kill that, turn that back to zero, and we need to offset it. Now these two objects are the same size, so what we can do is we can get the local bounds. What this does is it gives you the minimum and maximum bounds of the, of the object. So that's basically how big it is. And instead of giving us like a hard value, it gives us a distance from the zero, zero point and another, another, another uh, more distances from the, from the negative from the zero, zero point. And these are expressed as a vector. So you get a whole heap of values in there. 
which is kind of useful and annoying in a way. So what we do is we just simply multiply these by, tw by 2. So I'm just going to whack 2 in these. Oops. 2. Done. And then we could just add these to the You just add this to the uh, actor location and make that the new transform. Except that's not going to work. So what we need to do, I'm just going to move this up here, just shove that down there. What will happen is this will put it at the three different positives because we're giving it a positive value. What we need to do is we need to shift these around based on what side we're looking at. How do we do that? It's actually really simple. What we're going to do is we're going to multiply these values by the out hit normal. Because if you remember, the out hit normal. So you can imagine this one, the that value there that puts the cube there in the y, in the y position, minus that by one, and times the z by zero. We'll put it on the side here, just as an example. It's just how it works. Um, I'll make this project available for download so people can actually see it and play with it themselves. So we're going to do. We're just going to take that and we're going to multiply. I just want to shove this into the bottom part of that multiply. And then what we're going to do is we're going to shove that into the top. And that one where that used to be. And what we should have now is a pretty good workable system. There we go. And it will basically put it on whatever face you point it at. within reason. Yeah. So that's how that works. Now, this is great for a cube that works on a, on a grid system. So, for example, it's, it's on a grid. Where's the cube gone? This is a very annoying problem. What if we rotate this? Just a bit. Okay, a lot. Let's, let's go nuts with it. Let's go all the way to 70 degrees. Close. So, save. We're going to... Now we've got a problem. Our cubes don't line up anymore. So what we need to do, because the it's putting it in the right position, the rotation is just a little off. What we'll do is we'll get the rotation of the object that we're hitting, and we'll just match it in the cursor. There we go. So this will work at any angle. And all it's taken is a very, very small amount of maths. Nothing, nothing too special. It'll still even work if we just change it on like several different axes.
just didn't really show it working. See, there we go. So there you go. And of course we want to be able to build them, so that's that's pretty simple. We just take the cursor and then we just spawn another actor and and there we go, left mouse button. Take the cursor cursor block. Get transform. Spawn the actor from class, and we're just going to plug that straight in there. And we'll get buildable cube, which is what we want to build. And look at that. There we go. So we click. There we go. We just built a cube and another one. And another one. Starting to look very, very sculpture-like. Hmm. Just pop one in there just to let's make this side a bit more interesting too. So yeah, yet another interesting way to do buildable cubes. That work, that work regardless of the original angle.